This is Auchi Edo State, the largest town in the Edo North Senatorial District and the headquarters of Isako West Local Government Area of Edo State. It's an ancient town whose traditional ruler is referred to as the Otaro. So today we are going to be going around Auchi where I will be showing you places of interest. If it's your first time here, you're welcome. You can subscribe to the channel to join the amazing family and enjoy the incoming series of places I find myself. So this is Waterboard Auchi. We are heading out of Waterboard now, so the video has started. So I head now to the right, not too far from here, is Otaru Primary School. It's a very popular primary school in Waterboard Auchi, and we are just close to it. This whole area is named Waterboard because there was actually a waterboard here in those days. Because this is the highest part of the Aochi town. So to the right, that fence you are seeing is it Otaro Primary School. It's a pretty big school. It was fenced by the former governor Adam Soshomole. That is the entrance. Most of these roads here were constructed by Adam Soshomole. One thing waterboard was known for was um the erosion that was really taking out the community. But um, through the intervention of the previous governor, Comrade Adam Soshomole, World Bank intervened in the situation and they were able to reverse the effect of the gully erosion. So to the left, that road leads to Idonje Street. That road down there. And um, ahead now to the right, you will see a place with chain fence. That place was a gully erosion in the past. So when the rehabilitation was going on, it just made it this plain. You can see it's just a plain land. But this whole place was a gully erosion. This was, um, we are looking at 2010, 2011. So we are still in Waterboard now. And just after the next junction ahead is Egbedokai Street, the street where the bike is. But um, we won't be using that street, so we're going to reverse here so I can take you through Inemoro Street and um, show you a very important facility there. This school you are seeing ahead now, the yellow building, is Momo Primary School. So it differentiates Egbedokai Street and Inomoru Street. So just look right, you will see the previously condemned Goli erosion site, which was rehabilitated, if I put it as that. And straight up goes to Warake Road, where we are going left into Inomoru Street. Inomoru Street is um, popular for its constant light. I think um, due to the presence of this building just at the right now, the Cetraco premises. So they have their offices here and their quarters, this yellow building. So I think the Cetraco brought 33 kV lines to this innumerable street. As a result of that, their power supply here is almost constant. I don't know about now, but I'm giving you statistics of um, 2012 2013 when I was familiar with this town. So we're still in Enomoru Street now. I heard to the right is a cold room where most of Aochi buy their ice cream from and uh, frozen food. It's just by the right ahead. To the right, that road also leads to Warake Road. 
So this is the code room at the right, that blue building there. You can see a fish painted on the wall. So this fence to the left is Unity Bank. Just at this junction, we call this AP Junction. This junction we're approaching now. To the right here leads to Poly Road, Royal Block. Right to the left is Otairo Palace. Ahead is Otairo Road. So you can see the Unity Bank to the left. This area is called AP Junction because of this filling station just at the right. That is the AP filling station. Though the name has changed, but it's known as AP filling station. This is Auchi Microfinance Bank. And after that, to the right, you can see Paparazzi Communication. It's one of the biggest uh, mobile phone dealers in Auchi. I think he has four outlets. Just at this location, he has one to the right here. Then two across the road to the left. You can see their labels there. So we're moving ahead now. To the right here, we have First Bank. This is the only First Bank in Auchi. And just opposite First Bank is Zenith Bank to the left. Moving away from Zenith Bank, there's a plaza here called Lucky Plaza. There are a lot of businesses located in it. This is the plaza, Lucky Plaza. And we're approaching Aochi Gara Road. This road to the right is Council Road, while this one opposite is Aochi Gara Road. We have officially entered Otaru Road now, leading to the Otaru Palace. To the right is Nai Post, that is um, the post office in Aochi. That is your general post office. I see different little businesses scattered around. Aochi is actually an ancient town with a lot of development going on of recent. To the left is the king of Aochi's palace called the Otaru of Aochi. So this is the palace of the Otaru of Aochi. You can see the entrance there. Just by the side of the entrance there's a road here going to a deeper life campground. So they call that deeper life road. So just to the left of this road a lot of different brands of car washes. Right to the right, they have most of their government establishment, from the Peace Corps to the immigration. Most of all parasitals are at this right, with different offices. This is the Nigeria Correctional Center office, though the Correctional Center itself, the prison, is just ahead, the female prison. The male prison is on a different location. You can see the um, welders here, there are built doors and uh, this is mainly known for car wash. So this fence to the right is the correctional center for the female. So only female defaulters are brought here to be corrected. The side of the correctional center is Mox Road. It leads to Arafat Mosque, a very big mosque in Aochi. So we're moving ahead. So if you're just joining us for the first time, feel free to subscribe to the channel and I assure you you're going to like all the contents we're going to be dropping. One day is going to be your city and I guess you're going to like that. So to the left now we're approaching Stone Bridge Agro. Here you could buy your dog food, your poultry food and also treat your sick pets. So across this junction to the right is Uye Ground Hotels and Suits. It's one of the first four-star hotel in Hauchi. While opposite it is um, Uyi Apartments and Event Center. So the apartment is what we are seeing now. Across it is um, the hotel and suite. There are 
you are assured of 24 hours power supply when you stay here because this is where I lodge whenever I'm around. So another point of attraction here to the right here is the Glow World Outlet. This is the only Glow World Outlet in Aochi and it functions effectively. We from that end extends to this side of the road so the white or rather the yellow building ahead to the right is Ui ground. Why right, this is their spare parts and generator shop. This is the hotel. So this road is called Aochi Jetu Road. This was the other road that we didn't take when we turned left. When we immediately we exited in numero streets. So this is a um, judiciary magistrate court while this fence you are seeing to the right now is the headquarters of the Nigerian police Aochi division so it's actually labeled divisional police headquarters Aochi this road just by the side of the fence is council road it goes straight comes out at Aochi Igara road I mentioned the council road at the beginning of the video. So this is Aochi Jetu Road. It's actually very steep. The vehicles come in are climbing and I am on the slope. It's a Sunday so most shops are still closed. It's a Muslim dominated town though, but Sunday people like to rest. It's a normal occurrence. We are approaching Ikelebe Junction now via Aochi Jetu Road. To the right leads to the prisons, which I will show you now. Where opposite it to the left leads to the Aochi Public Field. So just by the left also is Mobilox Lounge. It's a new lounge that is making waves in the town. To the right is UBA and just by the side of UBA Bank is Madame UBA Lounge. I know Aochi businesses like to give names based on things close to them. Like that one is close to UBA now. She named herself Madame UBA. Just like that. So we're still moving inside Aochi town. Different depots, you can see Dano and Indomie Depot there. And um, you know, Aochi is more like a satellite town, like put it as that a lot of businesses and residential are uh, together. So we are approaching Igbe Road Junction. To the right takes you to Otaro Road, right to the left is Igbe Road. We're going to link up Igbe Road later, so just remember the road. This road goes down the slope, I remember saying that. goes down to AP. So from AP now, we're going to be locating Royal Block. So this is the AP to the right, we just passed it and um, we, this is still called Aochi Jetu Road. To the right you can see Sunshine Global, we are one of the early phone sellers, as early as 2010-2011 those guys have been selling phone in this town. This area is called Igbo Shade. The Igbos must always have their place for business. Eh? There's no way you won't see an Igbo man open. You can see one across the road. The store is open. We're approaching Waraka Junction now. That road to the right leads to Onwa East and all the villages relating to Onwa. Opposite it is the Aochi Central Mox. And this is the old Zenith Bank building. We're still on Aochi Jetu Road. But um, 
after the turn at Royal Block is usually called Poly Road. Let's listen to the Polytechnic. The left is Total Philly Station Aochi. While this is former bank PHB that's no longer in existence. This is Royal Marquee Event Center and that's Royal Block. This yellow building. So we have entered Poly Road now, which leads straight to the Aochi Polytechnic. Wow. Why the one way? Okay. It's something you see a lot in Aochi. They like to site their parties whenever wherever they like. Just look at them doing it on the road. Possibly they're above the law, no one knows. So this is Poly Road. Now we are climbing a hill. You know, Aochi has a lot of hills. That's why the gully erosion here is very threatening. I heard that the banks in Aochi, I think there were about five, six banks lined up together. So, to the left, we have a part of Uchi Market, where this is GT Bank and Access Bank. Opposite it is Valchi Kitchen, one of the earliest fast food in Aochi. Then we have Big Taste and Bodylon Mall. It's like the happening place in Aochi currently. That is First Mobitech, the owner of that Mobilux, opposite UBA Bank. And opposite that now is Immaculate Conception Cathedral. You can see it there from this drone shot. That white building there. See how the road is linked. So this is the cathedral of the whole of Asako Diocese of the Catholic Church. So moving ahead, we have Union Bank to the left. And after Union Bank, we have Fidelity Bank to the left also. To the right, you have a K primary school. These sh shops, okay, that is the Alchipoli. There, that um, gate you are seeing, that's the back gate. So we're not taking the school. To the right is Aochi Polytechnic Bottle Water Factory. Just to the right. We're not taking the school because most times they don't allow people to enter the school with vehicles on Sunday. So, to the right here is the Muslim burial ground. Right to the left is Uchi Market Road. That is the road to the Muslim burial ground and the back of engineering in Aochi. They call it the back of engineering because the engineering faculty of the Polytechnic has a gate there where they call back of engineering. We are approaching, mind you, this road we entered from Holy Road is called IC Road. IC Road, it was named IC Road because of the IC school on the road, which is just to the right. This road links Igbe Road. I see this school to the right. The name was changed to Ikelebe Secondary School. But so this is the ICU Secondary School Institute for Continuing Education. So that road I had goes to UBA. That was the road that was coming from UBA that I said leads to the public field. Public field is just that gate, that green gate ahead. We are going right now, linking with Igbe Road. So we are back on Igbe Road. This is a student dominated area, so you can see a lot of businesses close to the road. Your students don't like to go far to look for stuff. There's a primary school to the right here called Akpakpe Primary School. It's a public owned primary school. You see boutiques and um, businesses scattered around. This building to the right is Guinness Depot in Aochi. You can see crates of beer. Yeah, I think that's where Guinness 
drop their drinks and uh, smaller businesses buy from there. This is still Igbe Road. It's more of the business hub of Auchi. Most businesses have their locations here. To the right is former Oceanic Bank, now Echo Bank. And the after Oceanic Bank, not too far from it. That place that car is coming out from is um, a road that leads to the engineering back gate that links with that um, cemetery road I showed you earlier. So this Igbe road terminates at Auchi Benin Expressway, which is where we are going to going to now. There are a lot of bikes in Auchi because um, the bike have not been banned here, so it's more of their mode of transportation here. You can see another paparazzi communications here. This is his first outlet before those other three were opened. To the right is Alassan Complex. It's a mall. So the shops are still letting. So we are approaching this junction called Angonite Junction. To the left is Afemai Park. Afemai Park is a bus company. The Afemai is a bus company. So this is the Angonite section. To the right is NMPC Philly Station. And uh, we are taking a U-turn now, so I will show you J2 Junction. Some businesses, some more, and um, lounges scattered around Aochi. You know, it's a flexing town. Students here love to read, and they also love to flex. So to the right now, this whole section is road to Mechanic Village in Aochi. I saw someone I think I knew and um, the video paused for a while. So we continue now. We are heading towards J2 Junction. This is an Aochi Benin Expressway or rather Obajana Benin Expressway. Obajana is in Kogi State, this road comes all the way from Abuja. It's a straight road to Kogi, Okene, Okbila, and most villages before Aochi. And the road goes straight to Benin City. A lot of businesses are scattered around this road. So because most other villages from Onwa, Isako East, all come to Aochi to get their goods. This is a matrix depot on Aochi to the right. It's the biggest filling station here, so most times they call it depot. While opposite it is another little matrix. So matrix is a very good distributor of petroleum products around Nigeria. I said it's very bad spot here. See no reason why it's not being fixed now that the road is dry. Is it incompetence of FEMA now or whatever the case may be? So we are heading towards um, J2 Junction still. NPC depot in Aochi is just by the right. Before NMPC purchased Owando, we are all Owando outlets and named NMPC now. That used to be their only depot in Aochi. 
So an NPC usually has the best petrol. You are more likely to see a very long line here whenever they have products. Go to the left is the James Watt of Aochi. You can get your tires. Most parts are sold just by the left of the road here. Yeah. And it's dominated by Ibo men too, you know that. So we are approaching Jetu Junction now. Jetu Junction is like the center of whatever happens in Edo North. To the left can take you to Onwan and the rest. Though that is Aochi Jetu Road to the left. Why to the right goes to Jetu. This place we are facing nice Aochi Jetu Road. Straight goes to Abuja. And to the right goes to Jetu. So we are turning now. I turned back to Aochi Benin Expressway because my journey was originally scheduled for Benin City. I skipped the previous part, the metric and NPC and the rest because I showed you that already. I continued from this U-turn I made. So we are heading towards Aochi Polytechnic Campus Gate now. To the right, this fence you can see is all Aochi Polytechnic. I think that is the main thing that makes this town. So if you are going to the campus, you take this right part here. And uh, this is uh, one of the two pedestal bridges in Edo State. To the right is the campus gate being refurbished or renovated. You can see the drone shots where the zinc is. I think they are trying to build a magnificent structure over there. So to the right is the hostel road, so they call it, but it's inside the campus. We'll be approaching the Aochi Polytechnic Hostel Gate shortly. It's not too far from here. So to the right is the Aochi Polytechnic Hostel Gate. You can see it from the drone shots. You can also see the hostels over there. We made a little park here to film on the drone and we'll continue in our journey. We are heading out of Aoji now towards Avieli, the truck garage of Edonot. So before we get to Avieli, I will show you around the remaining part of Aoji. It's not too big a town. That's why there won't be a series on it. I just had to make something pretty fast to show Aochi. For anyone that wants to know what Aochi looks like. It's a brown roof republic, don't forget that. <laughs> so, the fence to the right is still Aochi Poli. I think this area is the sport complex area. This is the entrance to the sport complex. I see they are filled there from the drone shots. It's dry season now, so no much greenery. To the right goes to Campus 2, the second campus of the Aochi Poly. You can see the road there on the drone shot. It goes to Campus 2. Why this road we're applying now? Heads out of Aochi. We're heading towards Avieli now. To the left is Bawak. First Bawak, second Bawak, third Bawak. All at the left. That's mostly student dominated areas look at the owners of the road doing their thing i had to leave the road for him to pass so we continue our journey to aviele this um road is supposed to be a double lane that has been awarded for over 10 years but it is what it is we have to manage with trucks on a single lane as well and there are a lot of bad spots on the road you just have to be smart and dodge as much as possible on this journey i hit one that actually dented the wheel of the vehicle we we're using it's part of the journey so if you have watched this far we would appreciate if you give this video a like and don't forget to follow the channel wherever city we find ourselves We'll be making a video similar to this about the city where you can know 
a lot of insights just in case you find yourself in the city one day. Also, the video quality would increase with time, so just stick around. Left to the left is Yak Hotel. It's a very old hotel. There's this white building you are saying. Otherwise, the name has been changed, but it's known as Yak Hotel. After Yak Hotel, you have entered Aviele Town. You see a lot of trucks on the road now. Most times, when they are coming from their long journeys, they park here to sleep and continue the journey the next day. I think every state has a place like Avile. Avile is very popular because these truck people, I see long zeros people also park here. They bring a lot of money to the town. You know, truckers are actually very rich people. Most students come here to sell goods to them and they buy cheap goods too. I think someone coming from the north can bring like 10 baskets of tomatoes just to sell off here. Make cool money. So this is Aviele town. And I'm uh, showing you around so you see what Aviele looks like. If you own a truck, you can actually spot your truck here. It's mostly outside dominated, but... Auchi people stay here too. Aviel is actually a place like Auchi, I would say it's a town. There are a lot of factories here. Driving with trailers, you just have to be careful because anything can happen. So. We we'll appreciate your time watching this video to this extent. We put in a lot to make these videos and a like won't be bad. So if you like such content, you can subscribe to the channel when you get home from work in the evening. You take your tea, relax while you see around places to find ourselves. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye for now.